back. Today we're gonna be doing an unboxing on this vintage clutch. Today I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, at the warehouse, of course, picking up my clutch itself. Here shortly, I'm gonna get Chris in here. We gonna he gonna go over the details of it. He gonna tell you what other options he have. And this isn't only a Mustang clutch. It can go in a Honda. I think they got one in a Crown Vic or something like that, a town car. But that was Coyote Swap. But anyway. We're gonna start this unboxing. As you see, they got the competition clutch for Got the Loctite 243, Loctite 262. I'm not gonna open that. I'm gonna open that. Pack pretty good. Got the styrofoam in there. I you did a hat. <laughs> so, right here you got the, the bolts. You got the clutch alignment tool. got the clutch itself which is kind of heavy it is heavy but this is a twin disc organic clutch and i'm i'm pretty sure this is much better than the stock clutch all right so i'm back i got this thing out the box first of all i'm gonna say this thing is heavy in hand it's heavy they got a billet flywheel which he says is only like i think four pounds lighter than stock so it isn't gonna be a huge difference it's still gonna Shoot through the RPM pretty quick. It's already bolted together. I mean, from the looks of it, it's put together pretty well. Can't go wrong with it at all. These are the flywheel bolts. Got the flywheel bolts right there. Everything packed pretty, pretty well. This was actually air zip, air, air tight, whatever you want to call it. So now we just gonna uh, wait for him to come, let him go over the details of it, let him let y'all know what other options they got, and maybe get y'all a phone number, y'all can follow them on Instagram. I'll put my phone up, show you that. Give him a follow on Instagram. Let's focus. All right, you get him a follow on Instagram. Vengeance Cuts, you can see on there. They do a lot more than Mustangs. You got uh, Teddy S197 on there. Got an S550. Uh, she's from a, the Atlanta area also. Fox body. They do a good bit of stuff, man. They got a good bit of cars on there. From my understanding, they was uh, they got the fastest Honda. Fastest Honda record. Yeah, I'll be back shortly with Chris, and he'll be going over this to let you know what's right, going we got on. Chris, he'll be giving us the rundown on this clutch right here. Basically, letting us know how much horsepower it'll take, how much torque, um, what cars can use it. That's going to give you a basic rundown of this clutch itself. I think this is twin disc also? Twin disc. Okay. So, uh, yeah, how much how much horsepower do you think? This right here, this clutch right here itself, the way that it is, this right here is an organic setup. Okay. Show this to you here. What about him? This right here is an organic setup. We have three different styles. So this setup that is going to go into Ken's car is going to be able to hold 700, 750 foot-pounds of torque. So back into this, back into this. So yeah, this is a 750 wheel torque capacity clutch. Uh, we have three other clutch options too as well. We have ceramic that holds 850 and a six puck that holds 1,000 wheel torque. So this right here would be really good for like your daily drivers, your cars that you're just driving on the street, having fun with. Uh, your mild bolt-on cars, you know, up to 750. Um, with this, even too as well, if you're even below, if you're in the five to 600 wheel torque range, give us a call. These right here are great for your cars. It changes your release point and it changes how the car feels with that mild power. It's just able to grab it, especially for a guy like him who's gonna drive the car right. and enjoy it. That right there is gonna really do a lot more for you compared to other clutches. Uh, this thing right here really holds a good amount of power. It does real well with heat. So if you're a daily driver kind of guy or somebody who wants to go to the track, these things are track tested. If you do track days, you throw a sticky tire on it, it holds it. It's a really good solid tire car too as well. All right. So uh, with the flywheel, is this the only like option y'all have for it? Is it the flywheel? That is correct, yes. Yeah. So right okay. here is a 1045 billet flywheel that we have for it. Um, it is cut in-house here in Georgia. Everything that is made is made here in Georgia from the uh, billet mid plate to as well. We cut everything in-house and uh, make everything here. But this right here is a one, 
cut style flywheel that's billet made to be lightweight to save weight on the clutch right it's a thin design so with that dissipates heat from the clutch pack right. so you have a much longer release of life once it gets heated up okay. um so yes with this don't have an ultra lightweight flywheel option don't know if we will right. but this is a uh, one-stop kind of flywheel for you it bolts right on we provide all the hardware it comes with ARP flywheel bolts and then right. same matching uh, pressure plate bolts too as well. He'll pull them out right here, right here. Comes in a little baggy ARP bolts too as well. So we'll give you all the hardware and that's across the kit. Um, something else for these things, if you are a 5.0 small block guy, we have clutches for you too as well. We have clutches from the 86, uh, Fox bodies all the way up to the 2017 Gen 2 cars. The Gen 2 Coyote cars right. comes with the uh, weighted uh, flywheel too as well. This is a zero balance flywheel that then you can on the back molt on your uh, weight kits for your uh, Fox body guys too as well. So check us out if you're a Fox body guy needing to uh, make some more power and need something a little bit more heavy duty for uh, those T5 kind of style transmissions and 26 line options too as well. Right. Okay, so besides Mustang, what other cars do y'all make these for? Right now, uh, we're focusing heavy on Ford. Right. We do have options, so we're going over to Chevrolet LS2 as well. Right. So all of your alpha, uh, your number soup right. of the LS world. So LS1, 2, 3, 6, 7, and that stuff too as well. Right. Now when you get into the LSA world, or the, or the LSX world, with that 8-bolt crank, we haven't got there yet. But for all of you guys, we have the same clutch, same design, but just with your Chevrolet spline and bolt pattern for your LS motors, we make two as well. Right. So uh, in, earlier in the video, you went here. I had mentioned that you had the fastest Honda. Yes. So, uh, I guess for the Honda guys, this would be a good clutch for them too. Now with this, this is something a little bit different than what you would put behind the uh, engine of a Honda motor. Right. Um, but we do have the. Uh, it's actually that top car right there okay. is the uh, world's fastest. Stock chassis Honda Civic. Right. So with that, um, forgive me on the times, going off the dome right now. Don't know what the time is, but uh, we do have the world's fastest Honda Civic. That's a stock chassis car, makes around 2,000 horsepower and uh, speedy through speed factory. But yes, with those we have the seven and a quarter triple disc that's in those cars, and it's super lightweight. Probably weighs around 12 pounds. The full clutch kit um, and can put a lot of power through those ceramic seven and a quarter discs. It's pretty right. cool. It's really okay. cool. So, uh, for somebody just buying one straight out the box, yeah. Well, they, I know they wouldn't want to go to the track, but if they go to the track with it straight out the box. Would they be fine, or do you just recommend the break in? Oh, we definitely may break in it, break them in with these things right here. The uh, break in is so so important right. to these discs with the facings that we use. They're a softer style. They're a steel back style uh, clutch disc. So with this, the uh, heat that these things need to go through to get broken into where they're adhered to your flywheel surface right. and also to your pressure, uh, your mid-ring surface too as well, is so serious. Um, with those, we recommend a thousand miles of just easy street driving, just going through gears, no wide open throttles, right. that kind of stuff. So when you get broken in, remember that. Right. And then uh, when you're going through these things, just give them about a thousand miles. And as you just start get past that, start to increase it, increase it and then you'll be good to go about 1500 of having a really safe clutch that's gonna last you a lot of miles. And that's all the way through from our organic to our six plug style clutches. Right. So uh, what about the uh, Shelby's? <laughs> Do you have anything for them? Like the GT500, 350? That's coming. That'll be something we're doing this okay. year. So right now we stopped on the Gen 2 Coyote Motors. Right. That was where the uh, kind of our, our range store, when we started making these clutches, is where we kind of were stuck at. The Gen 3 had just come out. Right. So we were really predominant on the Gen 2 stuff. Now with the Gen 3 stuff, we're gonna come out with it. That new 5.2 Voodoo motor, it's coming. We're getting it coming. Right. Okay. Um, be looking out for that probably end of this year, beginning of 2022. Right. We'll have that GT500 350 game covered. Right. Okay, so that's pretty much it. With all the questions I had, I mean, be sure to follow them on Instagram. What you got, Instagram, Vin TikTok? Man, we got it all. Just type in Vengeance Clutch into okay. Google, and then we'll come up. But yeah, we got Facebook, Vengeance Clutch, Instagram, Vengeance Clutch. Go follow us. We'll follow you back. We'll share your stuff. We love seeing you got stuff. We have TikTok, too, as well. And also follow our main page of Competition Clutch. 
follow them up. We'll be more than happy to uh, see what you guys got going on. We love seeing it. We love seeing what Ken does with his stuff. Right. So do get with us. We'd love to have you see what we can do for you. Right. So this is the end of the video. Oh, also subscribe to them on YouTube. Make sure you do that. Subscribe to my YouTube Come on. also. Get so, with uh, the man. Get with him. <laughs> yes, sir. So we we gonna get this clutch in in the next week or two, and uh, I'm gonna be back with a review. And I can't thank you more for this, man. I mean, can't go wrong with it. It look, it look, it look so good. It's a good looking clutch. I mean, it, it looks good, and it also reacts just as well. Right. Really enjoy it. That old coyote is gonna be bringing a new fresh life with this thing. So I'm it's excited for it. Really excited it's for it. Time. Exactly. It's time. It's time. Yeah, so uh, I'm out. Catch you next video.